In the last video, I have two key features of object-oriented programming. Abstraction, replacing the actual implementation of Turtle Life inside the classes Turtle and Terrarium while exposing only an intuitive interface. And encapsulation, by collecting the valuables that describe a turtle state in such abuse of the class Turtle and the function that implement the turtle's movements as the methods of the class turtle. In this video, I will explore two other key principles of object-oriented programming, inheritance and polymorphism dynamic dispatch. By creating derived classes that for the most part behave as a turtle, but that redefine certain methods to display more interesting behavior, or even add entirely new methods. We will learn how to define derived classes from a base class, how to call base class methods and how to add members to a class after it has been defined. Let me start by importing all packages. We will continue with our turtles. So for our convenience, I have placed our class definitions in the path module turtle.py. In fact, I have enhanced them in several ways which I will demonstrate using the recursive function polyspy from the class from the classic turtle geometry book. I will just type it out. This is a recursive function that calls itself. So turtles now can be initialized with a color which is then used to draw. They can draw a thick point at their position which I will do before calling polyspy. In terrariums, if, uh, if used in a width statement as a path and context manager can automatically rescale themselves at the end of the block. Last, last, terrariums can show an animation of turtle motion instead of an image. This is a true movie that can be replayed. I find it really entertaining to play with change in characters. These turtles are definitely square animals. They draw perfect lines and make perfect corners. So for instance, see if we advance by small steps, they make a perfect line. I will turn 20 degrees and then move forward 200 times. What if we give them some real world animal shakiness? We can do this by defining a derived class of turtle, shaky turtle, which be identical to its base class except for the method forward. Here, we add a little random rotation. Before calling the original forward method, let's say a random rotation between minus 10 and 10 degrees, we call the base class forward method using super. We will also change the distance slightly. Let's try this out for shaky turtle. Definitely more interesting. It is fun also to try shaky turtle with police spy. Definitely randomness as to the picture. If you want more control on shaky turtle, we can write its own initializer where we collect one more parameter other than the terrarium and the color and use that parameter to change the behavior. We also need to call the init method of the base class. This won't happen automatically. So we will use the new auto bit shakiness to modify the random angle by which we turn. Let's compare different degrees of shakiness. Still going through our new steps and do some copy and pasting here. And for every step, I need to look over the turtles to move them. It really makes a difference. You can have a lot of fun playing with these turtles and making other simple derived classes. For instance, you could make a hungry turtle that finds food by smelling it. That is, senses the distance from food and turns automatically when the distance starts increasing. Were it not that it actually sees food and turns toward it? Together, we will do something even more interesting. A predator turtle that runs after another turtle. For that, we create a derived class of shaky turtle but add a new method follow. The predator sees where the prey is and turns toward it. To do that, we need a little bit of trigonometry to figure out the angle by which we turn. It is going to be the out tangent of the ratio of the vertical 
and horizontal distances between the predator and prey. Let me call it up. By doing this, you are implicitly adding powers, the attribute to the public interface of turtle. That is okay. In Python, we can be practical rather than pure sometimes. So we turn and we move by calling the base class forward method. This is going to be worth an animation. The prey will be blue and the predator orange and a little less shaky and set points to see where we end up. Very interesting. To make for a better pursuit, we should give the prey an advantage. We can move the prey away from the origin by doing pen up, forward and pen down. But how about we give turtle a new method that sets it at a given position in the terrarium. To do so, we could modify the turtle.py module. Instead, I am going to exploit a very intriguing figure of python and then modify the class on the fly. I first define a function that moves the turtle by changing its internal state and then I add this function as a method to the turtle class object. Variable lowercase turtle plays the role of the variable self and the turtle class is none the wiser. All turtle instances, even existing ones, immediately gain a new method. So let's try it out. Amazing, right? Compared to rather rigid object-oriented languages such as C++, Python is not only casual but also fluid in that everything can be changed programmatically. The definition of methods, the base class of a class, even the class of an instance. In what is known as meta class programming, classes themselves can be churned out at runtime. All of that is definitely higher Python magic. But if you get there, I am sure you will have lots of fun.